Um, Samazi, is that how you pronounce it? Round of applause for Samazi. Hi, everyone. I was just in Startup Alley when I ran into an entrepreneur friend of mine who was venting to me about how complicated and frustrating it is to find a rock star UI UX person to join a startup. Um, while we were talking, I said, you know, I know the perfect person. Why don't I make that introduction for you? So we all know, though, if we offer to make an introduction, the likelihood of making that introduction is probably not going to happen unless you make it happen now. So if you don't mind, I'd actually like to make this introduction now. And uh, I'm welcoming, welcoming you to, to join me. Bink, can you turn on the projector, please? With Samazi's iPhone app, I'm able to select two contacts seamlessly and effortlessly into my app. And with just a few clicks, I'm able to initiate an introduction and ask them for, my per for their permission to make the introduction happen. While this message is being sent, I can also wait and hear back from them. I can go to my dashboard and check out introductions that I've made in the past. Uh, I can track to see if they've been connected, if permissions have been received. And if they have been, I can actually finish the introduction right there and then. Thanks, B. You can move it back to the slides. Samazi's iPhone app allows you to make, manage, and track valuable introductions on the go. We're excited to announce that Samazi's iPhone app will be available in the App Store soon. So if you're interested in having an app that allows you to, to make all of this happen on the go, I encourage you to check out our website and sign up to get the notification for when it's available. We are Sumazi, and our goal and mission is to be the world's super connector. We're building the technologies that allow you to connect intelligently to the people and opportunities that you don't know, but should. People that could potentially change your world. My name is Samaya Kazi, I'm the CEO and founder, and here with me is Arno Lee, our CFO. Samazi's goal is to make sure that we're identifying the opportunities that aren't available to us today. Our iPhone app is just one way that we're encouraging you to strengthen your relationships on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Let's talk about how connections are being made today. Here's some numbers that you, you might be familiar with already. 500 million, that's the number of users on Facebook, okay? 145 million, the number of users on Twitter. And 75 million, the number of users on LinkedIn. However, there's a number that you may not necessarily be familiar with, and that number is four. Now, four is a number of valuable, on average, valuable connections being made in a given year based on a study that was done of 1,700 people. Four. So let me get this straight. Millions of people in these networks, and we're only making, on average, four valuable connections in a given year. What's going on? What's the disconnect? Well, if you think about it, existing networks today are fantastic excellent in reinforcing connections with people that we've already made. They don't, however, and they're not designed to actually discover hidden networks of the people that you should be connected with, potentially valuable people. Now, we at Samazi believe that this number four is way too low because it's not like there's a shortage of amazing people around us. In fact, the problem is, is they're almost beyond our reach. Samazi's goal is to, again, intelligently connect you to the people you should know. So I'd like to tell you about a service that we're actually announcing today, Socializing Your Real-Time Needs. Socializing Your Real-Time Needs is a web service that allows you to um, intelligently connect to the masses. So with this service, you're able to leverage your network and connect with the networks and the hidden networks of the people you already know. You're able to broadcast, leverage, and connect your needs and opportunities. With Sumazi's Socializing Your Real-Time Needs service, you can easily write a post and publish it. So for example, I'm looking to connect with potential investors, partners, and rock star engineers to join the Sumazi team. Is that you, somebody you know? I can preview this message, I can edit it, add more information, and I can broadcast it across multiple networks. As soon as I do this, I'm able to publish it and head into my dashboard. Now the dashboard allows you to see all the different posts that I've done in the past, it allows me to track the views, it tracks the reach, allows me to, to see the public and private messages, and it allows me to also see how my network is rebroadcasting my needs. And with time, these analytics will grow and allow us to kind of wait and shift and see how these connections are being made and how we're discovering these connections. Now, what I've shown you today is two things. One, a mobile app that allows you to connect with somebody on a one-on-one -on -one basis, on the go, and strengthen that relationship. 
The second is a web service that allows you to connect intelligently with the people in your network and their networks and their network's networks. At Tamazi, we believe that there is a huge opportunity to leverage the untapped data and connections that we've spent so many years building. Our vision is to build the technologies that allow you to connect intelligently and uh, allow you to um, connect with the opportunities that might be beyond your site, but not necessarily beyond your reach. We at Tamazi are dedicated to making sure that you connect intelligently. Thank you. Tamazi, everyone. Apparently some vocal Samazi fans in the audience. Uh, judges don't let that uh, influence you. Socialize your real-time needs, Adam. Yes? This sounds familiar to me. Um, so the obvious question for me, of course, is this feels like two of the very successful use cases for LinkedIn that people use it for. Um, how are you thinking about that? I noticed that LinkedIn, you didn't use the LinkedIn APIs to integrate here. Is that on purpose? On We're adding that for sure. So no, you bring up a great point. Now, the way that networks are being developed right now is, yes, there are active job seekers. There are people that are looking at LinkedIn and actively looking at that network to connect with people. But there isn't something that actually discovers these people for you. So for example, LinkedIn has a suggested user base. I'm not to put to link LinkedIn down, but how many times do you really click on that suggested users list? I used to work at Sun Microsystems. I worked with 30,000 employees. And I look at that suggested users list and I don't do anything with it. I'm sorry, I'm not interested. Now, if there was a service that allows you to up-level the types of people based off of interests, professions, level, degrees, you know, a lot of different parts, and tells you not only why you should, not only tells you who you should be connected with, but also tells you why you should be connected with, and it takes the next level and makes that introduction if two parties are interested, that's what we're trying to offer. It's a very different way of making connections. Elaine? Cool. Um, so one of the questions I have is that social graphs are naturally asymmetrical, right? Meaning that there are a few people that everybody wants to be connected to, right? And so you're talking about having an algorithm, being able to have recommendations, those types of things. But you're also competing with other services like LinkedIn, and you've got to be able to build your own network effect. So how do you attract those people that, every, that, that are going to be the most valuable to your service without them being inundated? Yeah. So there are definitely key influencers that have tens and thousands, if not hundreds and thousands of people. And they're able to broadcast their needs and connect with the people that they need to connect with. But we're talking about a lot of other people that don't have those opportunities and don't necessarily have that person to watch their back to identify those opportunities. Now, we're not trying to compete with these existing networks. In fact, these networks are our friends. We're leveraging these networks. However, we are finding that there's an opportunity to strengthen them based off of other additional information that we're going to be achieving from them. So it's based off of who you're connecting with, was that connection valuable, Did you know what kind of information can you pull from that. If you imagine this iPhone app in a future iteration that we're working on, we're going to have a recommend tab. And what that recommend tab is, it's going to optimize the people already in your network. So based off of things that they're seeking, that they're looking for, that they're needing, the iPhone app is almost kind of the super connector. It's telling you, hey, guess what? There's two people in your network that should connect on this reason. Why don't you make an introduction? So it's kind of, you know, and making that super connection happen. Also, uh, the, the way that we're better integrating our web service and our iPhone app is you're able to actually communicate what you're looking for. I'm looking to connect with this. I can do one of two things. I can either select a whole list of names from my contact list and easily push them out. So I have a handful of super connector friends that I'm always leaning towards and let them know right away. Or um, I can just put it out there, and when they see it in their feed, they can say, oh, yeah, there's somebody that I totally need to connect you with right now. Let me make that happen. So a very different way of interacting to make those connections. People notice the fine art of using your answer to have another minute of pitching. It's, uh, <laughs> it's kind of a clever, clever <laughs> trick. Um, let's go to Matt. Um, so Samaya, I guess the question I've got for you is, you know, so one of the challenges in picking some of these, I love the fact you're leveraging these other networks. Um, you know, if this is successful, they're going to start turning around and going, okay, how do we react to this, et cetera. I think the interesting question becomes, how are you dealing with kind of the time-bound nature of the things you're putting out in the stream? Because, you know, so for example, I'm looking to hire somebody right now. I put it out on Twitter, I put it out on Facebook. A day later, nobody even knows I posted it, right? So you're putting out there requests for recommendations that you actually want to be captured in time so that somebody a week later comes back and goes, hey, I can help there. But if they can't find it or they never saw it, What's your answer to that? Right. So that's actually one of the, the ways that we're designing our applications. The thing is, is our needs are changing every single week. 
my need last week for finding a UI person changed this week to finding a software engineer to changing next week for, for that. So it's very hard for me to communicate that to my network on a regular basis. So this tool allows you to not only do that, but allows you to tap into that network real time. Now, when you when somebody has actually come into your network and has helped you, you're able to indicate who that person is, you're able to give them kudos, a thank you, and you're able to close that need just through your dashboard. So essentially, you can have 50, 100, 200 needs going, and they will be uh, managed accordingly based off of are they open, are they closed, have, have they been filled. Um, but the opportunity is now you can take this need and you can have 10 of your friends broadcast it. You have something quick, you know, a quick little soundbite that they can put onto their networks and they can now connect with their, their network pretty easily. So you take a very decentralized process and you're making it very centralized. Camilla? Um, in your pitch, it seemed like in the dialogue you were, it seemed like multiple times you were saying, we're going to, we're going to have this. So I want to know, what is something that you don't have now that you're going to add to this? No, the one thing that you feel that is going to make this greater. The one, just one thing, one thing that you don't have right now is going to make this better than what it is that the you don't have. The intelligent connection engine. That's what our goal is. We have multiple phases that we're building upon. Our end goal is this engine that if you were to take humans out of it, if you were to take you know, just an algorithm, it will do all of this magic on its own. It'll tell you, Camillionaire, these are the people that you should be connecting with, these are the tech entrepreneurs, these are the, you know, these are the artists that you need to be connecting with because of these reasons. And guess what, if you're interested in this, we'll actually make the introduction for you. That's what our end goal is, and that's what we'll have, well, not today, but tomorrow. Can you tell me more about like a, a feature, an actual feature? like? Yeah, so I mean, with, these, with uh, the iPhone app, when you're able to you know, write in your need, you type it in, the one thing that we're looking to do is actually socialize it to our network immediately. So I can then tap four names of people that I trust, and I know that they can get this connection. And within seconds, they're going to be able to make introductions for me right then and there. So instead of having to call, email, you know, hunt them down, or what if they're on vacation, I'm able to leverage a network easily and effortlessly and seamlessly. That's something that we're working on immediately. OK, well, we're out of time, so a round of applause for Smazi. Thank you. OK, um, three down, just one to go in this, in this session. Um,